Beloved, we often hear about praying and praying and praying until you get a breakthrough, praying until you get an answer, praying. And, you know, God always answer prayer. Sometimes it's yes, no, and maybe. We, we often hear these things. But is there ever a time that we should simply stop praying? Ever a point where we should just give up on that thing we were looking for and throw in the towel? Before you say no. Love is love. Love is love. I You know, the Bible does say to pray without ceasing. So does it mean that if you want X, Y, Z to happen, you should pray for X, Y, Z to happen. And we're going to pray until we get a breakthrough. And we're going to pray until this thing happens. And many people will remind you of Hezekiah who turned his face to the wall when he was supposed to die. And, and changed the heart of God, changed the will of God upon his life. Should you do the same thing when it comes to your marriage, when it comes to your finances? Should you just continue to pray in spite of what's happening in your life? Well, I decided that what I would do is to look at the Bible for a scriptural reference to a point where maybe you should stop praying and do something else. And I was led to a story revolving around a man by the name of Joshua. Joshua was leading the children of Israel to a battle against Ai. Ai was a, 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 a formidable foe, but guess what? They were being defeated. You see, the children of Israel were defeating them, but they decided to do things outside of the will of God. They decided to take things from the battle that they should not have taken. And when they started to do things the way they wanted to, all of a sudden the battle, which was a cinch before they did that, the tides turned and they started to be defeated. And in fact, they were defeated. And, and just like in anything in life, when you're defeated, you feel you're hurt, you're beat up inside. And, and Joshua did what many times we often do. He laid himself out before God. Matter of fact, the Bible says he fell on his face and he was crying out to God, God, about why they lost this battle. Because he just did not understand what had happened. You see, once again, the victory was right within his grasp. And at a certain point in his praying, God tells him to stop praying. Stop praying, Joshua. Could God ever be saying to you, you know what? It's time for you to just stop what you're doing. I need you to stop praying to me for the marriage. I need you to stop praying to me for the finances, for your health. Stop praying to me for that problem. And I need you to start doing it. You see, God tells Joshua to get back in the battle. Get up, dust yourself off, and go to work. So many times we could be in an all-out dog fight and we lose and we're hurting and we're going to God and we're praying and we're crying out. And we do that because sometimes it's easier to cry out than it is to fight. <laughs> but in our heart of heart, we can spirit saying, I need you to go do this. I need you to go do that. I need you to pick yourself up and go to work. So is there ever a time you should just stop praying? If you're defining prayer as asking God for something, absolutely, positively, yes. There is a time that you should just stop praying. But when you stop praying and asking for things, you can, you can start praying prayers of thanksgiving. 
God, you know what? It's already done. So I'm going to thank you as I go into battle. I'm going to thank you as I fight for my marriage. I'm going to thank you as I get this extra job to take care of my finances. I'm going to thank you in advance for the healing while I start correcting my diet and getting exercise. I'm going to do all I can do so that you can do what only you can do. And when you do that, you'll see the tides often will shift in your favor. Sometimes God is saying, stop praying, go to work and start thanking me. Stop praying, go to work and start thanking me. And when you do that, watch out because God will come through for you. Hey, I love you. God love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you need to stop praying. Oh, yeah. Before I stop, if you have a prayer that's surrounding money, that's surrounding finances, it's not so much that you need a miracle as you need an inspiration. Cancer cannot be healed by an inspiration. <laughs> Sometimes things we do in our relationships cannot be mended. Okay, by inspiration. But when it comes to finances, sometimes go to God and ask God for just that idea, that inspiration, that spark of creativity that will propel you to where you want to be. And if you do that and listen, you'll be surprised at what God will do for you. Stop praying. Start listening. Start thinking and watch God come through. I'm done for real this time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, for giving us so many examples of how we can get a breakthrough in our lives. For the person on the other side of this screen who may be frustrated that their prayers have not reached heaven, give them the assurance that you've heard their prayers but give them the guidance on what they should do next, how they should move next, what they should do in the battle of their lives. Let them know that AI can be conquered. AI being the bills, AI being the relationship, AI being the, the, the child who will not listen, AI being the, the education decision they're about to make. Let them understand that the battle of AI is theirs. They'll just fight it. Get off their knees and fight it and start thinking you because the battle is already won. God, we love you. We adore you. We magnify your name. God, we love you. We adore you. We magnify your name. In your son Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Now, once again, I love you, God love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Be blessed, my brother. Be blessed, my sister. Go with God, indeed. Be blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, thank you so very much for watching. Now that you have, click the tab below for another inspiring video from First Day Christian Center and spend 15 minutes with God. Be blessed. Bye-bye.